why you went through all of those things back there. <laughs> when you get to this place right here, you'll understand that it was supposed to leave me thinking, Daddy. <laughs> I was supposed to get sick, thank you. I was supposed to have that accident, thank you. I was supposed to be broke once upon a time, thank you. Because I had to go through those things back there to get to this place right here. I was supposed to be hungry, thank you. I was supposed to be overweight, thank you. Thank you for all of the bad because all of the bad was perfectly orchestrated for my becoming state of being. So I just want to say thank you. I was off on social media for um, for two weeks doing some things. Hey, 20 Steph. <laughs> Doing some things that felt good to me. I feel good. I am perfect. Yeah, I'm happy you are too. Young King. Hey, I miss y'all. <laughs> so I was traveling and, and helping a client and I visited New Orleans. Back, I went home for a little bit too. And I've been light. Hey, hey, hey. Yada. Hello, hello, hello. And so now I'm back home. <laughs> it's funny because now I'm officially home. I broke all ties with New Orleans, all that I had left out there to do foreclosure on. So I'm officially home, y'all. I officially am in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. And so I want to share some good news, though. For those of you who often visit my lives, Remember, I was before I was leaving, I was doing a bunch of lives and I was in the same spot, but I was juicing, I was juicing coconuts, I was juicing um, grapefruit and key limes and, and Valencia oranges and things like that there. Well, that client that I was helping, it was a, a client of mine that had um, cancer. And she called me yesterday. We had did so many things. We were, um, she was doing, you know, dealing with me with her holistic care. And I was healing her and pretty much providing for her the herbs that I wanted her to take, the citrus fruit that I wanted her to take. We tackled that thing. Hey, purpose. We tackled that thing internally and externally. I gave her the, the shampoos I wanted her to wash her hair with, the deodorant that I wanted her to wear. The citrus fruit, the herbs, and the bath salts because, you know, every part of our body is at a different pH. And so I wanted to give every part of her body everything that it needs, even the vaginal spray that I gave her to keep the pH of the vagina in balance. Anyway, long story short, she called me screaming and crying um, because she had went to the doctor and they couldn't find any more um, traces of cancer in her body. And so now she just has to go every three months or so. So, you know, I guess to do follow-ups on it. But I just thought that, that was so amazing. I was felt so happy for her. Because when you really can find people that's ready to listen, to ready to make that change. And sometimes it takes us establishing a dis-ease, a life-threatening dis-ease to shake us and wake us up. I know once upon a time, I got into this health and wellness um, journey because... I used to have like low blood pressure and I would take a hot shower and I would pass out in the shower. So I knew it was at that moment that I knew that I needed to do something different. I didn't know what to do different, but along my journey, I picked up so much of wisdom and knowledge about it. And so with that wisdom and knowledge about health and wellness and the herbs that I researched and the healers that I, I sat with and all the volunteer hours that I gave into natural remedies in, in, in the elders in New Orleans, my guru in New, who I found in New Orleans that taught me and had me in the garden all the time, had me in the foyer every Monday on Broad Street in New Orleans, Louisiana, you know, um, learning about herbs because that's a place where they would sell the, um, the preserves and stuff that he would make, the, the, um, the foods, the fruits, you know, the, the soaps. I met so many healers and I learned so much about the body during my journey. And so I was teaching her pretty much everything that I learned and it helped her on her journey to be, you know, now cancer free. 
And I feel so good about that. That's the good news, y'all. Just to be in a position to be able to help people. For those of you who are new to this here life of mine, I have on my website, if you click on the link in my bio, a transformation course, Power Within Transformation course. That's everything that I have, what I was sharing with her, everything that I went through, everything that I learned, I left it to be in a better position, you know, to be in this position to help other people. I didn't know I was leaving it for y'all. I actually was like making these videos. It's like 18 how-to videos. I was making these videos along my journey to really pass it along to my children, you know, because I wanted to be the one to break the generational curse of being stuck on the stupid or stuck on ignorance. I'm not judging nobody, but that's just as bluntly as I, I put it because I apply it to me. And sometimes I, I talk to myself like that, that like, okay, it's stupid if we're going to keep on doing the same thing that killed grandma. You're stupid now. Come on, you got to do something different. I'm not being ugly to you. This is just how I talk to me to get my mind right. And so to be stuck on stupid, you know, stuck on rinse and repeat wasn't benefiting me as far as my health was concerned. So anyway, I was leaving the videos behind for my children because, you know, I, I understand even as a mother, I understand that my children have their own journey and they're going to eat what they want. They're going to go and indulge and, you know, be on that frequency, on that state or that side. But whenever they decide to come over all the way, you know, you know, they'll have the videos. That's what I was thinking. But I decided to allow those videos to be um, available for anybody that's on the journey that's starting with where with having glasses, having, you know, weight gain, having high, um, hyper or hypothyroidism, having acne, having um, reoccurring um, viruses, colds, sickness, whatever it is, thinking <laughs> that something is really wrong with you out the norm, but it is really not. You just had disease and disarmament within your body, whether it is your skin being out of balance, whether your digestive system out of balance, whether the pH of your vagina is out of balance. It's all about balance and healthy balances. And so it's called the Power Within Transformation Course. It's available on my website and I left it affordable and not about, about you know, price gouging and, you know, you know, I want to be paid for my time, you know, but I left it affordable for, for people like me, reflections like me that, you know, needed help outside of going to the doctor, taking the medication that they give you and just being on it for the rest of your life because that's really, you know, causing disharmony to your, you, now you got disharmony in your kidneys, now you got disharmony in your liver. So I got that, the Power Within Transformation Course, I have every product that I ever made for me, available for you on my website. Made with love, made with herbs that I know that are designed for the healing of the bo whatever body part that that particular product is for. Man, I'm just so freaking happy. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of this person. I'm so happy that I'm in a position to help other people. And, um, you know, I'm not really a braggadocious. I'm a little, um, I'm a little hoodie wearing, a little simple um, dress code wearing a little somebody that's you know I just stay mostly to myself like but um I say that because every day y'all y'all have no idea the emails that I get even like when I was gone uh oh I feel the tears coming even like when I was gone for the two weeks people just was um reaching out to me emailing me saying where are you you know I miss your words of wisdom you be on point. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. And I had, I went on a lie, but I guess everybody was on that particular lie before I had left. And they were just saying to me, you know, how much they miss me, how much did I help them. I get these type of messages all the time and I don't be braggadocious about it. I do consultations with people who I help them get out of depression. You know, I help people who really want to um, end their life and just get really just... <laughs> Just be wanting to give up, you know. And my emails and my little praise reports that I have for other people, y'all. It is so heartfelt. You know, I come from, you know, corporate America where, you know, I used to always dress up. And so that's why I'm always dressed down now. I just be wanting to be, you know, comfortable. For the 22 years I wore heels and did a job that meant really nothing to me. I didn't really care about transmission. Um substation engineering like you know it, it was a it's a good job i'm not knocking it it was purposeful because it too taught me about energy frequency and vibration but um it's something 
something about doing something, you know, things in life that you're really passionate about, when you really can help somebody with a larger part of them, when you're helping them with their soul, when you're helping them with a great quality of life, when you're helping them with their health. And I once was there, and I didn't have the tools that I left behind for my reflections. And that's why I do everything that I do. That's why I create everything that I create. Because it feels so darn good. When you, you know how the biblical text is. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. Oh, baby, when you, it, I, I, I have to, total new meaning for that because it's like, okay, yeah, 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 it's cool to receive, like, right? It's cool to receive because you wanted that thing, right? You wanted that thing for an appointed time and now it's here and you feel good about it. It's cool. But when you're giving, <laughs> there's a different place of state, state of being you're in energetically when you're giving because when you give, giving, you don't already received. <laughs> when you're giving, that means your cup run it over. <laughs> and surely goodness and mercy gonna follow you all the days of your life because you you done increase your frequency. You done allowed your cup to overflow with love. And that same love that you was putting out. <laughs> the same love that you put out is the same love that keep your cup overflowing is the same love that you feel so it's like not only now do you have but you have so much you have so much inside that you can give to others so much inside of you to, to if others around you have an issue of blood <laughs> all they got to do is touch you and you you because you stayed in alignment or at a high frequency enough to heal their body too <laughs> That part right there, that you want to get to that part of the journey. Receiving is so cool. But even with med meditation and manifesting, like, right? For example, you want you want this, you want that. But baby, it get real, real juicy when you get to the place in your journey where you, you want no thing. Because I, I, I want no thing. But yet I have everything. <laughs> You might not understand that just now if you want that car, you want that house. I'm talking about when you get to a place where you don't even have the car that you manifested and you don't have the house that you manifested, but you're carrying it with you in your car and you say, no, 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 I don't even care that it ain't in the physical reality. I want no thing because I realize I understand energetically in my heart and in my mind, my electromagnetic field of energy that I have everything already i am everything i lack no thing <laughs> so it is more blessed to be able to give than it is to receive remember that on your journey remember that on your journey you want to get so in alignment so full so caught up you just want to give. It's just so much. It's just so much in here. That's why, you know, sometimes I say some things and, you know, I got the little, the, the, the little, the little leechers out there that just want free, 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 free. And I don't mind giving to the ones that just want free, free, free. Don't want, don't want buy nothing. Don't want to try the transformation. Of course, just going to sit up here on the lot and just ask me all kind of questions so they don't have to. Because they so used to <laughs> taking they so hungry so they so low frequency and that's why i don't mind i don't mind giving i don't mind answering the questions i don't mind because i'm full i'm full you want to get here too you don't want to just be sitting up there in 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 on the live trying to take 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 don't even want to hit the screen because you're so busy trying to take you're so busy trying to type your question because you want to take you don't want to you don't want to give a lot you don't want to hit the screen you don't want to do nothing but baby i promise it is my promise to you <laughs> that there's another side there's another frequency where you have everything because you carry it with you in your heart, you know you are everything, and you decide to say, you know what, I, I, I don't need nothing. I'm just going to come on here and I'm just going to give. Every time I come on here, I'm just going to give. 
I'm going, no matter if they hit this dream, no matter if they buy it, no matter if they like me, no matter if they don't like me, it don't matter because I filled up my cup for me. I am overflowing in abundance for me. I am in alignment with me. It don't matter because you cannot create in my reality. It's all about this here, me, my own my magnetic form of energy for my heart, my electric circuit that I extend from my thoughts. Yeah, it runs well, over. So I gotta give it, I can't keep it in here. At least I'll be like a transformer and I, I just explode. I gotta give, give, I gotta give some of it out to you. Even if it's just for a little while when I come on my lives, just for a little bit, I gotta give because I have so much. You want to get to that place where you just have some, just take it away. I have too much. I don't want to be a hoarder. Just take it away. I have too much. This is what you want to get. And so when I open up my emails, when I open up my text messages, when I open up my newsletters, when I open up any any form of communication, one of my reflections is telling me, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, because you helped me with this. Oh, I'm so happy that I met you because you helped me with this. Oh, I'm so grateful. Guess what the doctor said? Because you helped me with this. And that's, my ref that's, 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 that's me receiving. That's my receiving my receiving so when i receive from those pathways, ways i could come on here and i could give i can give i can give because i'm receiving i'm getting that energetic exchange and so i just have so much to give that's why i do this that's why i come over here checking on y'all this ain't about me because if it was about me i'll be sitting outside just chilling in the sun it ain't all about me it's about that passion it's about that passion, that burning desire inside, this passion, that this, this, this purpose, you know, you know, in the biblical text, they say, Lord, if it be your will, take this cup from me. A lot of days in my life, I try to say that. Anybody out there been chosen and you wanted to say, just take it away. Why, why are you picking me? I don't have nothing to tell these people. Lord, take it this cup from me, but it's like this, it's like this passion, this, this passion that's tied to your heart that I just can't just sit out there. I try. Oh, I try because I like to be a little introverted person and just stay away and just, and just shut my mouth. I try, but because you have so much inside of you, <laughs> because so much is given to you. So, 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 to, to whom much is given, much is required. Because you have so much. Because you decided to tap into your inner being, infinite intelligence, sitting outside. <laughs> sitting outside ain't go, ain't go get it. You, you gotta open up your mouth. You gotta come. You gotta come and give. Because when you're outside, when I'm outside, I'm I'm getting the electrical, the magnetic fields of energy out there from the earth, from the sun, from the soil, from the frequencies out there. And so that's equivalent. That's aching to me meditating. That's aching to me charging up in another place or another setting outside of me charging up by being or connected, being with my inner being alone. I got another way to charge up. So if I'm charged up here and I'm charged up by the messages and I'm charged up with love and I'm charged up with the sun and I'm charged up with the earth and I'm charged up with infinite intelligence, I got to release that thing. <laughs> you want to get here and get so juicy over here. If you're not here, keep on going, baby. Keep on going, baby. Because we all on a journey to get back to, to here, <laughs> to get back. We all the prodigal son. Returning back to the Father, I encourage you, no matter what state of being you are in, get to that stage of being where it's so blessed to give. Because <laughs> that way your cup going to stay running over. That way your heart going to stay leaping with joy. That way you could be alone with yourself and you won't be crying, you won't be depressed, you won't be ready to end it all. You'll be alone with yourself, 
just like how I love to just be alone with myself. And I'll be sitting there and I'll just be smiling. And if somebody passed by me, or I'll be sitting there having a whole beautiful scene. And if somebody passed by me while I'm alone by myself, they'll they'll claim maybe that I'm crazy. I don't care about the people. They'll claim maybe that I'm talking to myself. I don't care about the people. They'll claim all of these things. But oh, baby, when I'm alone with myself, I never feel alone with myself. <laughs> Because I understand I'm never alone. Because I have the whole universe inside of me. And being that the whole universe is inside of me, I just explore. I just explore all the endless ways I have given. I have explored. I'll sit there and explore all the endless ways that I'm receiving. I explore all of the endless ways that infinite intelligence has graced me with 100% of my brain capacity at moments in time. <laughs> it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. I'm hopeful y'all understanding my jibber jabber. I'm just thankful that y'all here. I don't ever really look at the top to see how many people in here because it really don't matter. It's just me talking to my universe. <laughs> it don't even matter if it's one or two. It's me talking to me about me. <laughs> it's me feeling good that I'm in alignment with me. Because it took me a long time in my physical reality to get to this place. But boy, I'm going to tell you, for those out there that are my reflections, that they've been through hurt and pain in relationships. They've been through hurt and pain with your mother and father. They've been through hurt and pain with sickness and disease. This is the place. This is the reason why you went through all of those things back there. <laughs> when you get to this place right here, you'll understand that it was supposed to leave me. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> I was supposed to get sick. Thank you. I was supposed to have that accident. Thank you. I was supposed to be broke once upon a time. Thank you. Because I had to go through those things back there to get to this place right here. I was supposed to be hungry. Thank you. I was supposed to be overweight. Thank you. Thank you for all of the bad because all of the bad was perfectly orchestrated for my becoming state of being. So I just want to say thank you. When you get to that place of being, baby, you have arrived. <laughs> when you understand that there is no such thing as only bad, because if there have bad, there must be good. When you understand that there's two sides to all things in this law of polarity, you understand and you just bob and weave through the bull crap. You'll say, oh, okay, this is the bad right here. Well, I'm happy for the bad because I know with that bad, they have to be some kind of good. <laughs> for my becoming state of being because it's all the game of life. And I'm only learning and I'm only winning. So thank you, bad. <laughs> I embrace you bad. I embrace you past because I finally figured it out. <laughs> and it seems to me that I possess a tool, a hidden tool, so some people might not even be aware that exists. By studying and understanding the laws of this universe, by studying and understanding the laws of this universe, and understanding, overstanding me, <laughs> and knowing myself. And knowing myself and loving myself and sitting there spending time with myself to understand my energetic being, to understand my heart and its frequency, to understand my thoughts, to tap out of this realm and go to other realms because I not only exist here, I am a multi-dimensional being having several experiences at the same darn time. So I'm not going to limit my thoughts to the thinking of this world. I'm not going to be <laughs> part of this world. transformed by the renewing of my mind. Yeah. And I'm going to milk the feeling of giving 
because I understand it is more blessed to give. than it is to receive. What could I give? How could I be of service? How could, because I understand it, it's going to come back. It's going to come back. It's like a figure eight. It, 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 it just don't, it's just like, if you understand this about your relationship with money, if you understand this about your relationship with a partner, if you understand this about life, you understand that it, it, it's, it, it's coming back. So yeah. Love anyway. <laughs> Do it anyway. Because it's going to come back. Because life is happening through you. So if it's happening through you, here you go. Here you go. It's going through you. <laughs> and it got to come back. It got to come back to make the figure eight. It's going through you. Not to you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not to you. Through you. <laughs> so this is, this is, this is, this is, this is what I get. If I if I give love, it's, it gotta come back. <laughs> if I give you you knowledge, it, 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 it gotta come back because cause yeah, cause I'm tapped in. I gave it to you. <laughs> I give it to you on my lives all the time, but but wait, hold up, hold up. If I give you my all, am I not gonna have any more? Hell no, I'm tapped into infinite intelligence. <laughs> As I give to you, it just becomes greater and greater and greater so there's always going to be more for me more for me so I can give back to you <laughs> if I give you my love I give you my love because I understand my love heals all so wait did I really give you all, all of my love did I give it all to you when there's this, this, this boundless universe here in the supply that my inner being holds for me based upon my experiences. So no, I didn't give you all my love. <laughs> I can't give you all of it because I'm in this loop, this ever spinning loop that if I give it, I got to get it back. Remember that. Remember that when your heart is broken. And you decide because back there, back there, there was a little girl inside of me that said, no, I ain't going to give nobody my love. I don't even want to talk to them people. And so I decided I was going to guard my heart. Because I ain't loving nobody. That little girl, that little girl, that little girl with daddy issues said she wasn't loving nobody. Because I dare my damn daddy. Not be here. He lived three minutes away. How oh, dare he not come see me? I don't talk to nobody. But what was I doing? What was I doing with the loop? My figure eight. What was I doing? I was stopping it. I, I decided to. I decided to stop the flow of my figure eight. And then what? 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 What happened to me? Standing in the midst of my figure eight, stopping my flow of love. What happened to me? I created this ease within me. Because I was in the middle of my figure eight flowing. Don't get in the middle of your figure eight flowing with love, with giving, no matter what you've been through. Because you only cause this ease to yourself. Let it flow. Love anyway. Give anyway. Be good anyway. Not in a foolish way, but when it feels good to you, do that thing that feels good to you. You want to give, just give. Give, don't, 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 don't. I'm not talking about the kind of give where you're expecting. No, 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 no. I'm just talking about the kind of give where, oh, it just feels good to give. Oh, don't, don't, here. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna leave that for so and so. Don't 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 let them know that I gave it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give a smile to 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 that person right over there, the one that don't look like he gonna smile back. But just because I I I, I want to give positive energy. Oh he, he oh you think he a racist? You think? You think he homeless and you think I you shouldn't look at him? No, no, no. I'm going to, I want to give to him anyway because I don't want nothing from him. I just want him to see what, what a smile looked like. 
I'm talking about that kind of giving too. It ain't got to just be money. I'm talking about, oh, oh, like when you go visit people's lives, like, and you, and you, <laughs> And you receiving a word or you receiving something that feels good to you. Oh, 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 I'm just going to go ahead and hit, hit the screen. It don't cost me nothing. It just feels good. When I go to people live, I don't care. They could be grabbing the wall. I don't care. They could be eating seafood and I, you know, and eating burgers. I don't care. But just because they came in my reality, I'm going to tap that screen. I'm going to tap because they're giving. They're giving. They're giving. And they ain't just going to give to me and I ain't going to give back to them. I'm pressing the screen. I don't know what's going on. Just because it came through. I'm going to press the screen. Because I, because it feels so good to me. <laughs> I just look at they'll be talking. I don't care what the people be talking about, if, especially if they're not talking about consciousness. Because I, I like to talk about consciousness. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm an Aryan, you know. I'm the leader of the zodiac. I use my mind. I'm, I'm really into to mentalism, right, right. And so, so they could be talking about something that I don't care about, but they still gonna get alive. Because how dare you go give something to me? You giving me your time. Oh, you gonna get this life back, baby. Because I understand it is more blessed to give. <laughs> I just want to feel good just tapping the screen. I don't care what you're talking about, baby. You, your eyebrows look cute. I like the red shirt you got going on right there. I don't care. Oh, you played a little battle. Let me let me help you win. I follow you. Let me just tap the screen and follow you. Because I understand it went, no matter what we're talking about, whether it is a tip, whether it is love, whether it is a like on TikTok, whatever it is, it's just, it's, let me give. Just, just let me give. Remember this. Remember this because this matters. Energetically, this matters. Energetically, it, it matters. Even if you don't have nothing, if you don't have, don't have a finger to press the, the TikTok screen, if you don't have money in your pocket, you could silently give to your reflections by looking at them going through and you just imagine that they're coming out of it. You see what is in a physical reality and you just imagine, oh, I could imagine you with that job. That's giving too. That's blessing people. Because your figure eight, baby, is coming back. <laughs> it's coming back. Your figure eight gonna come back. And you want life to happen to you, to happen to you in a in a in a high frequency way or state of being. So remember, it is more blessed to give <laughs> than it is to receive. And that's why I came here. I just was sending a good a good praise about somebody that I've helped with their cancer estate. A being be no more, and I promise you all. I spent lots of months with this particular person, and I see my butt in alignment looking at this person be free. I was given from day one because I saw, just like in the biblical text, that's what Jesus, the Christ conscious one, was doing. He was seeing the people heal already. So I decided I'm going to see you heal already. And to get that call, to get that call from that person crying and screaming and saying that I, I, got, I went to the doctor and they said they couldn't find any traces of it in my body anymore. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, for your knowledge. Thank you for so much for your prayers, for your thoughts. Thank you. <laughs> it is at that moment that I understood even greater that it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And so that's part of the reason why I went on my break, y'all. <laughs> Because I wanted to focus on this particular person that I was helping. And I didn't want anybody else pulling me, you know, because I get pulled a lot, you know, to speak here and to, and, and, and you know, when you have passion, you don't, you don't want to tell nobody no, you know, because, you know, you know, you understand, like, just like this live, you know, some, some of you all, you know, pressing the screen and some of you all are my good, good, solid supporters, but, but then they, they every live, there's just, just that one. It's almost like, you know, when we used to go to church, it'd be that one, when the doors of the church was open, that one that would join every live, it'd be for that one. And so I don't be want to tell people no, because um, I know that that one going to be there, you know, and I'd be wanting to be there for that one, because I understand it is more blessed to give, but I had to pull myself away from it. I had to pull away from the conversations. I had to pull away from, 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 
packaging, shipping, and emails, and all of those things because I wanted to sit with this person and practice mindfulness with this person and really allow this person to heal. I wanted to be able to help this person with their backs, help them with their food, help them with their juices, teach them mindfulness, teach them everything that they would need to deal with the big C that they was dealing with. And I even told the person, I knew they were going back for their follow-up. And I told the person, I said, look, when you get those results, it really doesn't matter what the results say because we have shifted. You have changed. The old you is gone. I don't want you to be antsy about getting the result. I want you to feel the thing right now. That way when the results come, whether it is yay or nay based upon your belief, that you will still feel good in your bag. <laughs> and know that we are altering your DNA, that we are increasing you from that acidic range, you going back to alkalinity. It shall be because we covered everything. And I, I said this because I wanted I wanted her to understand that 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 <laughs> that this is gonna be a journey. That this is going to be a journey, and so when this person began to bathe in the in the in the bath um, solutions that I gave them, you know how they the people with the that have been through like chemo, they'll have like the black or darker hands and feet and stuff, and and so as you saw that being washed away and her skin color returning and and feeling good and getting energy and everything, and she was getting excited about. It. I was like, yeah, be excited about these things. Because we are changing your life forever. Forget the test. But I knew the test was coming and so the test came and the test showed that it was clear out of her body. And, and to hear her and witness her leaping for joy. I just think that is the most beautiful thing. <laughs> and how much did I charge this person? <laughs> How much you want to know how much you charge this person? Somebody, somebody put a price of how much you, you think I charge this person. How much do you think I charge the person? <laughs> how much you think? Hundreds? Thousands? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Joy. I just wanted to be in a position to give. I just wanted to be the blessing because I understand that it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. And if you learn nothing from me on this live, take that what you pick. Take that with you. Because your reflections and your reality are looking for a savior. And you are it. You're the savior that must come. So when is your kingdom go come, baby? When are you go heal the people around you, baby? When you go heal them, they're looking for you. But you got to make sure your cup running over first before you lay hands on the sick. <laughs> you got to make sure that your cup is running over. You got to make sure you ain't sick first. You got to make sure that you are in alignment first. At least you are good for nothing. And that was my last live before I left. And I said I had to get away from here. See, I don't be telling y'all all of my business. That's how introverts do. We just chill just a little bit. We know how to keep our mouth closed. I was telling y'all I got to get up out of here. I got to be about my father's business. <laughs> I 
And somebody in, in my reality was looking for a savior. And I had to make sure that I was in total alignment. If I wasn't in total alignment, I would not have been good for nothing. For this person. Anyway, that's it. That's the video. I didn't really come over here to cry. <laughs> but I just wanted to tell you all the good news about this particular person. And, you know, doing, being the fact that I do consultations, I, I normally can't share. You know, it's confidential. I normally can't share. But I felt like I could share without saying that particular person's name and business that I could share. And I was worthy of sharing that this person is cancer free. And I feel so happy to be in a position to help her. And I'm just so thankful for you all that listen to me, my rant. For those of you have, who ordered anything today from my website, your orders is on the table right now. I'm about to get off and go drop your stuff off at the post office. I know y'all waiting on me because I've been gone already for two weeks and now. <laughs> now I'm on here with all these orders over here. I'm going to the post office right now. Thank you, V. Hey, V, thank you for being here. Yes, I appreciate you too, Glow God is. Hey, 66, thank you for being here. God is good. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. <laughs> all right, thank you all for being here and listening to my good news. I'm going to drop off these orders. I might come on a little bit later tonight. This video was from my heart to yours, babe. I appreciate you. <laughs> Bye. Be blessed, babe.